Good morning, everyone. It is June 14th, 2021. You are watching The Morning Brew with live with Joy and Travis. Cheers. That's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> Every morning we've been doing this. I have a cup of coffee mm -hmm. called the yep. morning jolt. Cheers. What's your coffee cup? So. Um, Magnolia Farms, actually. So there you go. Waco, Texas. That was a Christmas trip. So yep. morning jolt. Mm -hmm. So it's Monday. On my way to Turkey Run. Monday, and it's a new start to the day. I feel like Mondays are for regrouping and recharging. I think Mondays are to smack you in the face and say. Welcome back to Welcome the back new to reality. Week. <laughs> no, Mondays are Mondays are kind of like a regroup, and it's almost like you get to redo. Like I mean, you don't you don't get to redo. Start over, but it's a new week. So so anyway, good morning, Les. Les, is something coming up tomorrow? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Happy happy day Bur before birthday. It's birthday happy Eve. birthday Eve to Les. <clears throat> birthday Eve. Yep. Andrew says it's Monday. Let's go get them. It's a go get them Monday. That's a charging attitude. Mm -hmm. it's, like it's a let's go get them Monday. I like that. Well, you should have a shirt that says let's go get them. I don't have one of those. So, yep. Um, Mondays are always going to be my work attire. Sorry. Melinda <laughs> says good morning to good you. Good morning. She's still calling you sweet joy. Oh, Melinda, haven't you learned by now? It's a little bit sassy. I really it? messed up on that one, didn't I? <laughs> you, you gave me a little bit too much sweetness in that one. Thank you, though. Wait, someone says Appreciate I'm looking it. sleepy. Melissa says I look sleepy. He's actually been awake for a good long while, more than what he usually is. <laughs> so maybe it's a little bit of just slow moving. I'll start doing this. <laughs> That's perfect, babe. I think it... That you are telling everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Nancy, good morning to you and Brenda. Good morning and May. Good morning. Um, May says she was at church with her. Oh, awesome. awesome! You're awesome. down mm -hmm. in the down in central Illinois. Yeah, that's super cool. I was in Charleston yesterday. Incredible! I loved our Charleston location. I spoke over there and I'm loved it. To go. Oh, I'm Melinda, to get over there. Someday. Melinda says, "Nice haircut." Nice uh, cue. How'd you notice? How'd you notice that I have no hair left? Okay, so on Friday, are I you, just, were you going to talk about this, or is this just like coming out of your head? You might want to share the brew right now and get a lot of people watching this. <laughs> on Friday, say good morning, Aunt Cheryl. See you in a couple weeks. All right, keep on Sorry. moving. We're gonna go down. Bob, exactly. What? What hair? hair? Yeah, good, good question. So, Joy and Cheryl, you'll appreciate this. It was, we, I still get my hair cut in the garage, but now it's not by a beautician named Aunt Sandy who actually has a license to cut hair. You now, can't screw up with clippers. You cannot screw up with clippers. So anyway. Wait, you just said you can't screw up with clippers. No, you can't. Okay. I so how, how old's Joe? <laughs> How old is she? Okay. Just, I'm just asking, how old is she? Can she's she's going to be four. She's going to be four. My hair is so short now that I had an almost four-year-old yesterday during lunch do this the entire time. She rubbed my head the entire time because it's... It's soft. It's soft. I have soft yeah. head. Yeah. Soft. Okay. So this is... Okay. I If you go to the barber, most of the people watching are, are ladies. So you go to your beautician. Okay. And let's go, let's say you go to a beauty shop that doesn't have a mirror. Okay, no mirror. So you're sitting in the you're sitting in the chair and the beautician is Edward Scissorhands cutting you. Okay. All right. Are you with me? I'm tracking. Okay. You can pick up speed here. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, when she starts to cut, you start seeing this. <laughs> And then it looks like this. And she's laughing hysterically with Clippers in. And then she's crying. She's laughing and crying. That, my friends, does not invoke confidence, invoke confidence at all. Okay. 
In my defense, okay, in my defense, um, Travis said he needed his haircut, and he said, I think I'm going to go to a one, which if you know anything about clippers, like the numbers indicate how short. The lower the number, the shorter it is. The higher the number, the longer it is. You said, I want a one. I said, okay. Well, I'm sorry, but you there's said, no, no going no, back. No, no, no. There's you no going said, back. You said, you're getting really thin. You probably should be a one. No, you asked for one first. You encouraged it though. I said I, I thought it was fine. You said it would yeah. look good on you. Yeah, because you're you're getting thin. So I went for a one, and once you go for a one, there's no going back to a two. I'm just. And every hairstylist on here is going to say, "Joy, you can fade, or you can do a one on the sides, do a two on the top." There's no fading this. There's no fading. It's it is um, just an all or nothing. Less you have hair. That you have hair. You Less know. as a beauty shop with no mirror. That's called yeah. my garage. Bob, he I guess when you get your hair cut in a garage, you buy your one. Okay, so Joyce cut my hair a few other times. Yeah, I have. So I and so one I time you put stuff. racing stripes in the that side of my hair. That was when I tried to do like uh, clippers plus scissors. That was when you racing had a lot more stripes. Hair. Everyone, like we got done and there was like stripes in my head. They she's, were symmetrical. She's cut my ear before, and it's been bleeding. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> just, just I nipped the, the top. Just a little. I just nipped your ear a little bit. So, <laughs> that was that was like in the early years of our marriage. We've been married almost 24 years. He did not let me touch his head for probably 15 years. Can you have a lady cut your ear off and see if you're going to give her I, back the blade. I was I – was, not given permission to ever use scissors again. And so I don't use any scissors anymore and I only use clippers. Uh, I, I would be happy to pay for you to go get your hair cut. Why? Like, if you'd like, but you you are cheap and so you would prefer to go to the garage and let me cut it. And then I can get so what do you guys think? Too. It's pretty, it's, it's. You didn't hear me. Did you say you'd cut my ear hair? You I, do so cut I, my I, ear I take hair. care of your ear hair along with Right now, head. the brows are getting a little wild again. <laughs> Usually, I take care of those too. So, yep. So, what do you think? Is that it's pretty short? Bob said you have the perfect head for a bald head. Good. So, I think because I, I think, think I'm leaving a, it this way. I'm, I think I'm I'm ready to just transition life to a one. Well, I think they're saying that you need to go to a zero, but that Who? is a lot of. Who said that? A lot of a, Andrew Dowling said razor up. Yep. Shave it all off. That's just because he's bald. It's just a lot of work. Let's put let's put it. Andrew's hair on there. Yeah. <laughs> See. See Andrew, that. Maybe you can come and give him a little I like I, tutorial here's the on thing. shaving his head. I really don't want to have to shave it every other day. That's what it. Comes I was out talking to, to someone yesterday. Uh, um, um, Hopper J. Oh, J. Yeah. Hopper. He has, has a little bald guy. He has to shave his head every day. He says he shaves it every other day. Yeah. See, and that's what you don't want to do. Do you shave your legs every other day? Um. Let's move on. No, I'm curious. No, she's poking let's, me. Let's, she's let's, poking me. Let's move on. Oh, oh yeah, that hurts. How so, often do you shave your legs? Okay, let's move on. I'm we curious. No, but we've transit. No, you don't. Pretty, pretty you did not. <laughs> she's lying to you, everyone. Lying, <laughs> lying. Did you today? But, but, like today? No. Yesterday? Okay, can we stop? <laughs> See? <laughs> See? No. <laughs> <laughs> let's check those armpits. Uh, Open up no, your I do that. <laughs> do that. How did we get from that to because from your head to okay? I'm good at deferring right. attention off of me on this one. I can, we can tell. We can tell. So okay. Anyway, so if you'd like to have somebody not laugh at your hair, then you can go pay for it. In the meantime, if I oh sweet joy, <laughs> if I'm cutting your hair in the garage, I may laugh like that. So all right. Oh, oh, great. Now we're com Cindy's comparing to my head to the dog. I just clipped our dog, Gypsy. I have to limit her time in the sun because she, because I use blades one, two, and three. We have to limit Travis's time in the yeah, sun. Yeah, I usually too. have to wear a hat now. Yep. But I kind of wanted to do a little sun because this is so pale white. Yeah. I actually said, Joy, is this gray hair? And it's not, is it? No, it's, it's just a little it's pale. It's pale white behind my head. And so I really need a little sun to even it out, but a little sun's gonna. You're fine. This, You're I'm fine. gonna pop like a lobster, man. It's gonna be red. You're fine. All right. Oh, gosh. So what else you got? I, well, I didn't know you put pictures in there. <laughs> did not know that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you sign on late? I want to show you a picture of Joy cutting my hair. Yeah, that's her. Slide over, Joy. Yeah, that's Joy. That's my confident <laughs> barber. <laughs> I was free. Completely free. You are. I got. And one. I got zero 
Thank I, you. I, I, I got. I think I thank you. You think so? No, I, I don't know. know. I, don't know. Did <laughs> I was like, woo! It is. It's. You know what? Though? I do kind of do this a lot now. I do this a lot when it's warm ahead. Like no, no, not that fast. That, oh. That's not a genie bottle. <laughs> Okay, what else it's you a, got? It's a one? slow rub. Try it again. Oh, Travis. Oh, it feels so good. All right. Thank you. I fall asleep now. <laughs> oh, moral of that story is go pay for your hair to get cut if you want to be picky about it. If you're not picky, then find somebody with clippers. Uh, so. All right. It's going to be a great week, everybody. Um, well, let's read the Bible. But all week, we got we got our son throwing track Friday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our yeah. boys, two of our boys are going to camp this week. Yeah. Dakota's already there. He's serving on the media team for kids camp, the mm -hmm. Illinois, for our Illinois camps. And then Cooper's going and he's serving on the. KP duty. He's on. Kitchen patrol. He's, <laughs> he's uh, clean, Kitchen patrol. clean plate engineer. Yep. That's a better title. <laughs> Otherwise known as. KP. Clean your plate. So, so. our boys are at camp. Yep. Um, Let's see here. Riley's not, but yep. And then Riley has football and some other practice. So. Cindy, I don't think I can handle that job. I can't handle a dog that moves around. Matt Brown so, says, yay, camp. He's getting ready. He's yep, going to be lot. rolling. And we have 60. We're loading up 60 campers mm, and I counselors. Think that's team. I think 40. No, no. Okay. when it comes to counselors Plus and, kids. and kids, there's that's 60 awesome. people going today. Super cool. 60 people oh, going. Oh, Bubba's going. Pastor Bubba. He works security. Oh, I'll, I'll talk to Kevin. I'm going to talk to you about giving my kids a hard time on security. Like, I'll give you their room numbers and you can. They're they're working. They're not like kids at camp. No, not my kids. I mean our, our church oh, kids. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You can go to the church kid. I'll give you Matt Brown's number. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> Matt, Matt's going to be a Matt counselor. Meet Pastor Bubba. Matt, meet Kevin, Pastor Bubba, work security. I'm going to have them bang on your door really loud and just scare the kids. <laughs> hey, keep her down in there. Bo, 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 bo. That'll be fun. We'll, we'll, we'll work something out. All right. Okay. So, so what you got for, we got to do oh. the Bible verse and then um, get our kids rolling. Okay. So, so uh, today, not more, it's more than just eight verse. Oh, okay. I have verses. All right. Um, I'm, this is in my one year Bible reading plan. Okay. And in Acts chapter nine, this is where Paul, Saul, who turns into Paul, who is a terrorist toward Christians. Okay. That's mm -hmm. if you can just imagine Paul, he is a terrorist towards Christians. He's like this Jewish, like extremist wanting to kill all these Christians. And then all of a sudden the Lord is telling in, um, in Ias that he's going to go find Paul and get, you know, prepare him. He's going to be part of the group. Okay. okay. Just give me a little background. Okay. But Lord <clears throat> exclaimed, Ananias, I've heard many people talk about the terrible things this man has done to the believers in Jerusalem. Like, how in the world are you choosing him to be a part of us? Like, he shouldn't be a part of us. And then he says, he, he is authorized by the leading priest to arrest everyone who calls upon your name. So anyone who calls upon your name, you arrest him. And this is what he says, verse 15. So if you so imagine the most terrible person you know. But the Lord said, go for Saul is my chosen instrument to take my message to the Gentiles and to kings as well as to the people of Israel. So here you have someone that's like feared, who's done horrible things, who's arrested Christians, has done things in the name of Jesus that would be um, pretty much blasphemous, you know, just like just horrible, uh, whatever, dangerous, all those things. You know, the list goes on and on. And then the Lord says, He's my chosen instrument, That's really which tells me that helps us understand we cannot judge a book by a cover. We cannot um, we cannot look at someone's past to determine their future. We cannot look at someone's history of what they've done to tell God what they're going to do. And, and, it, and we limit someone else's potential by examining their past. Yeah. I just came up That's with right. that. We limit someone's potential and possibilities by examining their past. That's so true. And God says, I don't really care about their past. He is my chosen instrument to take my message to the Gentiles and to the kings as well as the people of Israel. And so when we're looking at people, we can't look at their history and their past. We need to look at the potential, their future, what's in, what, what could be in front of them. That's really good. That's really good. And that was in my daily <clears throat> reading today. I wanted to share that. And I think the, the whole difference is if their past is connected with <clears throat> what they've done under their own power and being disconnected from Jesus, 
when they connect with Jesus, when they have a personal relationship with Jesus, their potential is um, is completely set free. Now, so, in all in all honesty, though, just for perspective here, Paul Saul slash Paul had to get his behind knocked off of a horse and he was blinded for a while because God really had to get his attention. Yeah. It was not a, Oh, I went to church and heard a sweet little message and yeah. I decided to go a different direction. I mean, he was like, God, wham. God completely upended his life. He was yeah. going so radically the wrong way. Radical, radical change requires radical action. Yeah. And That's so good. for Paul, like he had to have a radical life change, Yeah, but it's possible. Yep, absolutely. Obviously it is. He wrote absolutely. the majority of the New Testament. I mean, he was incredible for the kingdom of God, but for him to be a radical Christian, he had to have a radical transformation. Yep. So read, read, uh, read Acts. Uh, versus, That's a really neat story though. That's yeah. a super cool story. And I think it gives you hope to say, you know, if Jesus can use um, a guy like that, he can use me um, and really ask God, how, how would you want me to become your potential? So. Mm -hmm. It's good. God can do some incredible work in anyone's life. That's good. Anyone's life. Have an amazing Monday. Hey, pray for all of our kiddos going to camp. Yeah. Pray even harder for the counselors. <laughs> Have a great one. Have a great week. Have a great Monday. We'll be back with you. I'll be probably flying solo tomorrow. Uh -huh. And uh, everybody, it's Monday. Monday's a mindset. Oh, share the brew too, please. Here we go. Boom, put that there at the bottom. Go. Share the brew. Have fun. Don't get your hair cut by joy. We'll see you later. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I do love her. I really do. She's one of my best friends. She's my best friend. Just not my best barber, but definitely my best friend. <laughs>